Good morning everyone and welcome to my vlog. We're getting ready to check out at the hotel room and uh, head back to Carolinas. Here's the thing that's been on my mind. Producing three vlogs a week, I don't think that's enough. So I'm in this phase where I'm constantly thinking and researching whether I want to go ahead and do the proper daily vlog or just continue doing three vlogs to four videos a week. I'm just wondering if I should give this a shot or not. Guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. See, the only thing that worries me is when I commit to do daily vlogs and I don't deliver, that makes me look bad. So I don't want to over promise. So I'm thinking if I should rather stick just doing three vlogs a week with my busy schedule. Ah oh, man, that's the only thing that scares me is over promising something that I can't deliver. But who said I can't? Bye Rome. You have a great day? All right, you guys enjoy the weather you guys are having. Oh yeah. I'm going south. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys. Oh my goodness, it's snowing again. April 11th and it's snowing outside. Real quick, Urban Dictionary, definition of a vlog. A video vlog, a journalistic video documentation on the web of a person's life, thoughts, opinions, and interest. A vlog can be a topic and timeless, instructional, and entertaining. The main threads is, the main thread is trying to communicate on a personal level with your audience. Can I, I mean, why can I not do a daily vlog? Why am I stuck in this phase is that, in my mindset, like I have to have something really cool to show in order to make this cool. But really, realistically, it's not what it should be about. A vlog should be of your personal, it's your personal level of your personal sight of your day. Does that make sense? Like what do I see throughout my day? How would I feel throughout my day? And if I do have something cool to show, that's a cool thing, it's just a bonus. Like I had the supercharged truck, that was a bonus. I have this Raptor right now, that's a bonus. And I got a phone call from my mom right now. Hello? Hey mom. I'm in the middle of doing a vlog right now, but hold on, I'll put it, I'll put it on a pause. Mom, you gotta take it. Thank you for joining us this morning, Oris. <laughs> Say hello to the world, what you're on your mind right now. Uh, Starbucks. Starbucks. Starbucks, Starbucks it is. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be traveling all day. Um, other than that, that's the biggest excitement of our day. Well, no, not really. Our biggest excitement of the day is getting back home. <laughs> <laughs> and Oris probably is uh, excited to get into his M5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how was your trip overall? Did you have a good time? Was it good? Yeah. It was pretty busy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go go ahead. We're on our way to pick up the van, or Shagmobile. Pitmobile. <laughs> or Pitmobile. Yeah, the weather is not the best right now. It's snowing outside. Huh. It's Christmas. <laughs> Here. <laughs> guys, we're in eight mile. <laughs> All abandoned houses, there's one. <laughs> oh, wow. Like they're all set on fire. What in the world? Dude, I never even know this part of Detroit existed. Yeah, man, you didn't see our theater state. Going again. You know, hold on. Guys, in my previous vlog, I mentioned that I was going to talk about this Raptor, but I already did so many videos on the Raptor, so I'm just going to link above. Just watch it there. But one thing I can mention about the Raptor, when you drive this thing, man, you feel like a, a big man. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> it feels good. It's a, it's, it's by far one of my favorite trucks. Um, would I rather have the F-150 Supercharge or the Raptor? Well, I had two days to think about it, and um, my opinion or. What I would have is a uh, older version Raptor, like a 2014 model or 2013, a 6.2 liter with Whipple supercharger. That, that's my choice. Will I have the 3.5 twin turbo? Uh, it's an awesome truck, looks sweet. But I want the power of a V8 
I want the Whipple supercharger on the V8 and I want the suspension and the look of a Raptor. So there's one way you go. It's a older version Raptor. Don't get me wrong, I'd, I'd, I'd love to have this truck, but for me, I'd like it supercharged, Whipple charged. Okay, we're all packed and ready to go. On the way back to North Carolina, we're gonna say for goodbye. Have a wonderful day. Boris, you wanna say anything? Deuces. <laughs> Viewers, subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness. <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.